What is going on, beautiful people? So I want to come holla at y'all about, you know, protecting your home, protecting your family, and about a event that happened yesterday that was tragic in Clarion, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm from PA. You know, everybody that's been watching my channel knows I'm from Pittsburgh. Um, and it's just hit, the, hit close to home, bro, because, like, I'm a dad, right? And I was also a kid at one point in time. It was also, you know in the mix, you know, that have had, you know, little, little, little fights here and there and has gotten into some, uh, you know, some pretty bad situations. It never really escalated to that level to the point to where like, you know, any major damage was done, like brain damage, concussions, you know, maybe some concussions, but that was pretty much about the, the max extent of it. Um, but yesterday, you know, a young boy lost his life by the age of 13. Um, and it was by another 13 year old boy. And it's really sad because the way that it happened is that, the 13-year-old boy had did a B and E. He broke into the home and entered. I mean, there really wasn't much breaking in because the door was unlocked. Which, guys, we need to make sure that you know if you're a parent, um, you have got to make sure that you have a security system inside your home, um, especially if your you know your neighborhood isn't the best. You also want to make sure you have firearms. Um, you also want weapons inside the home and for your kids to be aware of who is in the house, you know, to be aware of, you know, where they can go for protection, communication um, and just how to defend themselves in the house. You know, that's so critical and so important. Um, but the two kids were playing video games inside their bedroom. Um, and the little boy, 13 year old kid, you know, I wouldn't even call him a man, 13 year old boy. These are children. He went upstairs in the house. And I don't know if the parents were home or not. They really didn't release all of the details quite yet. I don't know what it was over either because um, they didn't release the details quite yet. Little boy crept up the stairs, went into their bedroom, his bedroom while they were playing video games because he had a friend over. There were two of them. And he, he shot one shot and he hit him right in the head and he wiped him clean out. He's gone. Never coming back. No future. No college. No high school graduation. It's real sad, man. I bet you it was over something petty too. Um, I doubt it was anything over anything of major importance. You know, what 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 is so important that you could go and, and delete another person at the age of thirteen? Um, and you know, it's like who do you blame at this point? I mean, you could blame of course, you know, the kid had a pretty good part in it. He's the one that brought the gun in the house and you know, intended to do bodily harm, but like, where'd he get it from? You know, like what, 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 what household is he being raised in where he's so comfortable that he can go ahead and do that? Um, and you know, that kid should also know the law. Like, you know, I, I have a son and I'm really going to make sure my son knows, you know, what a manslaughter charge does, what those numbers look like. Um, and I hate to say it, you know, it's sad that we even have to, you know, inform our children of, you know, manslaughter charges, homicide charges, murder, things of that nature. But I really don't think, and I'm not defending this, this, this poor child that, that killed another kid, but like, I feel like if our children were more aware of the law and more aware of the time and the consequences of these actions, they, you know, might think twice on about, you know, think twice about doing what they're about to go do before they do it. And they could, it could save a life, you know, like two lives were lost, you know, cause the, the kid is going, we went to jail. He's on the run still. I don't know how he's on the run. It's gotta be parents, brothers, OGs, somebody's hiding this boy. Um, you know, but his his life has changed forever. You know, he's going probably going to do a good 20 to 30 years, sadly, um, at least. Um, and, you know, of course, the, the family, they lost their son in their own home. Like that must feel terrible. You couldn't even protect your own child in his bedroom. You know, um, you couldn't prepare him enough to be safe inside the home. And once again, guys, I don't know if the parents were there or not. I'm sure that was even more traumatizing. Um, it's just a bad situation. I don't like covering stuff like this, but I'm a dad. Um, you know, I'm going to get a house soon. I live in an apartment. They don't allow security systems here. And I feel pretty confident and pretty comfortable with the people that live in our building. I would never move on the bad side of town. And if I did have to and I had no other choice, it would be for a limited point. Of you know, I'm not here to stay, you know, so I'll be like, don't don't pack your bags don't pack your luggage because first we're on the first train out like we gone we into a better neighborhood but um if even if i had a nice uh, a house on the nicer side of the, of the neighborhood um a security system is essential at least you know just front just for the front and the back door um just have you know like door sensors some window sensors and really that's it um for the first floor especially you know first floor first floor door in the front first floor door in the back um, basement window uh, motion sensors, 
um, and then just have like a security panel. It doesn't cost that much these days to have a affordable security system that runs off of Wi-Fi. In addition to that, make sure your kids are keeping the doors locked. Sounds like common sense, but hey, some of y'all are still leaving y'all doors, screen doors open, you know, or unlocked. You know, y'all just y'all just hanging out. You know, somebody's going to run up inside your shit. I, excuse my language, but somebody's going to run inside your crib if if they have good enough reason to. Um, and it sounded like there was a lot. Of, it sounded like there was a lot of short term thinking that went behind that kid going into that house. Most crimes like this short term thinking. If that kid would have sat down for like a good week and thought about, you know, him doing it, he probably would have thought twice and be like, nah, you know, but, um, but yeah, man, you gotta have, you gotta have a gun dog. If you got a house, you gotta have, you, you gotta have some fire because someone may come into your house, man, and you may not know what they plan to do. And I, that's for any situation where you have to protect your family. It's, it's a sad situation. Um, I would, I would be like, I wish things would improve. It's just not the case. Um, you know, I, I, I hope for a better world. I don't think it's realistic. Um, instead I'm just going to get my defenses ready, you know, um, that even fighting, like, I don't really want to fight anybody in public, you know, like if you want to take it to a gym and we can settle it there, then I'm with it. But, you know, in, in these street fights, you never know what the other person's intentions are. Um, you could be knocked unconscious. They might even get a head kick or extra punch in, and that might not be enough. They might have to really, you know, do some internal damage in order for them to be satisfied and beat you half to death. Um, and it happens, you know, it happens all the time. They may have an additional weapon with them, you know, like something that's sharp and, you know, it may end badly that way. You know, and I'm I'm no uh, like no gun nut. I'm not a you know end of the world person or anything like that. I just call it how I see it, bro. If somebody takes it there and you're not ready to take it there, you know, you bring a a, a fist to a knife fight, you're gonna be you're gonna be screwed. Uh, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Such a tragedy that happened. Uh, definitely praying for the family that lost their child. And, you know, we could we could blame the music. We could blame the schools. We could blame the parents. You know, at the end of the day, like. We, you know, two two families lost their sons. Very sad. Um, I hope, you know, in my opinion, that house should not have been that easy to be penetrated, you know. Um, or, you know, shouldn't be your front door shouldn't be locked, um, unlocked. And you should also know what your son's getting into. I know it's hard sometimes because your, your son be, you know, like I ain't run the streets, run the streets, but you know, I was outside and hanging out and, you know, people talking smack, you talking smack back, you get into some fights, you're 11, 12, 13 years old, your kids, you know, uh, you might get jumped a couple times. That's when it's innocent. You know, people don't have grown man strength. The weapons really aren't that involved. Um, you know, let alone guns, you know, you might get a hold of a good rock. But besides that, you know, no one's really out here doing major damage. But uh, they're playing by different rules now. You know, it's getting pretty technical. Can't be lacking out here. Hope you guys have a good day. Um, I don't know how this situation could be prevented besides them locking the door, getting a security system and, you know, just having your kid be aware and knowing where, you know, like, you, you having a, a firearm and having it available um, for you to use, not for the child to use, of course. But, um, but yeah, man, sad day. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Don't like doing content like this. But I wanted to speak on it, you know, because it comes from the heart. I'm a father. Couldn't imagine, like, losing EJ, losing my son, man, or, or any fam family member from uh, gun violence in the house. In the house. That's what really makes you think but yeah you guys have a good day this is all about um, this channel is all about improving your quality of life whether it's mentally physically or emotionally um, this definitely is in the emotional and the mental uh, department because um, no one wants to lose um, a young life inside their family um, I know this is gonna be really tough especially the parents um, and it makes me double check you know what I think security is inside a household I mean I already want security systems and everything but like I never thought that I would have to emphasize to my son the importance of security because inside the house, that's when he's the safest. But it definitely makes me look underneath a, you know, underneath a magnifying glass and take a deeper look into like how to secure the home, the perimeter of the home, um, just to prevent intruders. And it's like, you know, we're, we're not on nothing. We don't do any illegal activity. We don't have em enemies, but you never know who's looking, who's watching. Um, I don't know who's not going to like my son for X amount of reasons or what he's going through. You just never know um, what's going to come your way. So you just got to get ready. Stay ready. Um, and you guys have a good day. I'll uh, catch y'all later. I'm out.